All right, the next section we're going to go through here, and I'm going to shrink these up a little bit, and then, then we'll take a closer look. Is the section titled "Law of Demand"? Okay, and the law of demand is simple, but it's not set in stone. Um, the higher the price, the lower the demand. The lower the price, the higher the demand. Okay. You can see here so, um, this what's called the demand curve. I told you guys I'm not into graphs, but um, the one graph that we will look at is the supply and demand curve graph. So here we go. Um, the higher the price, the less quantity demanded, and the lower the price, the more quantity demanded. So you can see that prices are really high. Look, not many people want to buy that item. And the lower the price, now we'll see the exact same item that a lot of people want to buy. Let's go back to our burgers, in and out um, I said this in my last lecture. What if in and out costs 10 bucks a burger, like you get at a restaurant or something? I mean, gosh, if you go to uh, you know, Ruth's or one of these steakhouses, you can pay 20 bucks for a burger. I've seen it, um, you know, 15 bucks. Um, in and out burgers are like four dollars, right? So part of the reason why the demand for In and Out is so high is that the price is relatively low. Okay, um, if the price was higher, then the demand, the quantity demanded, would be lower. And I'll bet that if you go to, I mean, like I mentioned, Fat Burger. I, I, I wish I had a Fat Burger menu, and I shouldn't be calling out all these corporations, you guys. I, I love all these corporations. That's why I know about them. Fat Burger is kind of expensive, you know, when I grab, grab just a basic burger for myself or my, you know, my family, it's not going to be four bucks. And, and when I go to Fat Burger, there's never a line. There may be two people in line. It's not going out the door. There's not 20 people. It's not madness like it in and out. Maybe if Fat Burger lowered their prices, then, then they would um, have more of a line. Magic. <laughs> I say that because Magic Johnson owns the Fat Burgers. Or he used to, maybe he sold. I don't know. Magic's a great business, man. Um, so, anyways, um, let, let's let's move on to a different item. Okay, when prices go up. Remember this: when prices go up, demand goes down. Um, iPhones. We're not going to look at PPE because this is a. It's an. There's other circumstances that that have caused the demand for PPE to go up, and if that happens, like, it's not just PPE. I mean, for example. Um, if right now today it's it's snowing in texas right it never snows in texas there's just some weird weather phenomenon we know weather's been weird lately okay and many people suggest that scientists that you know it has to do with um, global warming or climate change uh, i'm not gonna um get too deep into it but it's snowing in texas right now it's like negative under 25 degrees is a high five degree is a low um so you know it's probably really expensive gloves, <laughs> winter coats. Um, when there's outside circum situations, it, it can drive demand, which then causes people to raise prices. Okay, um, so so here's um, our, our iPhone curve. And I don't know if you guys, you don't remember, do you? No, of course not. <laughs> um, maybe you do. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, no, there were no phones. I was... <laughs> Oh, I'm old. No, um, when when I first got my first phone, I think I was 25. I got a flip phone, right? And uh, I thought it was really cool. And there was a camera phone came on my new flip phone. The next one, and pretty soon I'm, I'm, I'm I got a BlackBerry, and all of a sudden the iPhone becomes huge, right? So I go off and I grab my first iPhone, and you can see that iPhones, the demand for iPhones was going up incredibly. Now here's the thing. My first iPhone I got was probably in this area here. It was an iPhone 5C, okay? It was the cheap one. And I got it free with my plan. They're like, you know, sign a three, two, three-year membership and get a free phone. That's how it always was. That's how my flip phones were. That's how my BlackBerry was. All of my phones that I had had from 2000 until this basic period, were free as long as I signed up for the service. Um, now, all of a sudden, the new iPhones come out and we're gonna see that they became more expensive. My current iPhone, um, right, is not the 5C model. I have a, an iPhone 7 Plus. Now, I didn't get this iPhone until 20, 
19. So I got it kind of used, right? I got my wife and I, it was, it was after the, the um, strike. And, and we had reached a deal. I was like, okay, I'm gonna start getting paid again. <laughs> that was rough. Um, so I got my wife and I new iPhones because we still had the, the, the old five C's. Um, but I had to buy this. It didn't come free with like re-upping my account like it always had been before in the past. And what we saw was that demand dropped for iPhones. If you extend this out, we'll see it does eventually plateau, but there will never be this incredibly high demand for an iPhone because they're not going to be free anymore like they used to be you know sign up for account get one free hey demands through the roof um but once they started costing more money i mean today i don't know for sure the last time i looked was at an iphone 11 iphone 12 for like a thousand dollars i think I, mine was like 250 or something 300 i don't know um so um another example prices went up demand went down there were no outside circumstances there was nothing happening that would have caused iphones to go down it's not like people decided that they didn't want iphones iphones are wildly popular they're an incredible invention everyone loves them i love my iphone um so law of demand is simple as prices go up demand goes down and if price goes down demand will go up this is why Black Friday sales happen. This is why people line up in the morning on the day after Thanksgiving and sometimes trample each other and oftentimes act in ways that is uncharacteristic of who they really are, act in a fool, right? Um, to try and grab that TV that's 70% off. Why didn't you want that TV beforehand? Why wasn't there a line outside of um, Best Buy on the day before Thanksgiving? to pick up that TV because it wasn't 70% off. So as prices goes down, demand goes up so much so that people are gonna fight, like they fist fight. Have you seen this? Um, over items on sale on, on Black Friday, on that, that Thursday, Friday after Thanksgiving. So the same is true and opposite when prices go down, demand goes up. And there, that, that's our, our very basic um, law of demand.